We at Taylor Chemical Products thank you for taking your time to view this short video link. We would like to take a few moments to explain the differences in the manufacturing process of core fill 500 thermal masonry insulation versus dry mix masonry foam insulations available in the market. As you will see, the quality control that Tailored Chemical Products incorporates into the manufacturing process is first and foremost. For over a decade, we are proud to have our product continuously registered with Underwriters Laboratories Label and Listing Program, a comprehensive quality program that includes formula verifications, manufacturing procedure protocols, and plant inspections by UL auditors. Taylor Chemical Products is one of the largest privately owned adhesive manufacturers in the United States. Established in 1977, Taylor Chemical Products produces a full line of water-based adhesives, hot melts, contact cements, urethanes, wood filler, spackles, caulks, packaging foams, and masonry foam insulation. Taylor Chemical Products is headquartered in Hickory, North Carolina, with numerous manufacturing facilities located in North Carolina. We have diverse and redundant manufacturing capabilities. Our synthetic resins, including our two component system core fill 500 thermal and acoustical masonry foam insulation, are manufactured under the watchful eye of our seasoned and well-trained production staff and in-house chemist team. Now that you've learned some about tailored chemical products, let's take a closer look at dry mix resins. Here's an example of a typical dry mix resin, which was purchased at a building supply store. The vendor never asked if we were a licensed dealer or if we had any training in the application of this product. The product did not come with any mixing or application directions, just a lengthy disclaimer releasing the seller and manufacturer from liability. The dry mix importers never reveal the actual manufacturer. To our knowledge, products are made in either Europe or the Caribbean and then imported to the U.S. for distribution. Seeing there is no manufacturer listed, it's hard to imagine what, if any, quality control measures go into the making of dry mix. The following are mixing directions for dry mix resin. Remember, this will be done by a job site laborer, not a chemist. They are as follows. Clean drums with a scrub brush and hot water. Beware that the water supply at some new building sites can contain enough oil residue sealants or coatings to be completely detrimental to the resin. Add and dissolve the contents of two 17-pound bags and box containing the white water conditioner pellets. We weren't given any conditioner pellets when we purchased the dry mix. What can happen to the foam? Using a paddle mixer to stir, slowly add the three 55-pound bags of resin powder. Stir until all the powder is wet and dissolved. Let stand overnight, but not more than one week. If the installer runs a bit short on having enough material to finish the job at noon, do you think he will wait overnight to let the resin dilute? Once in full dilution, the resin should be used within 24 hours to meet all specs. Do you think the owner of the installation company is going to throw out the rest of the resin that is in full dilution if not used within 24 hours? In Tailored Chemicals controlled environment, properly mixing the resin is not an issue. Try following these directions on a job site. That is a lot of potential liability to inherit. Once the nightmare of mixing the resin is completed, the following manufacturer's directions must be adhered to. Prior to the installation, the walls must be essentially dry with no standing water in the CMU cores and no visible wetness of the exterior surface. Does this sound like it's the proper product for use in hot and humid climates like the Southeast United States, especially Florida? Product should be protected from excess moisture during the initial 24-hour curing period after installation. Verify that the wall assembly is essentially dry. How are you going to protect a building like this during a summertime thunderstorm? If these specific directions are not followed precisely, you could end up with walls that look like this. These pictures were taken a few days after the dry mix resin was installed. This is evidence of foam that was not mixed properly. In a short amount of time, the foam in the block walls will shrink. At this point, thermal resistance is lost as is the foam's ability to stop air infiltration. The resin has been known to bleed for several years. This is a picture of a house located in central Florida that was insulated with dry mix resin. 
the dry mix was installed in 2006. As you can see, the foam is in the process of disintegrating. Now, we are going to show you how Corefill 500 is made. We are now at Tailored Chemicals plant to view the resin manufacturing process of Corefill 500 thermal and acoustical foam insulation. Only the highest quality raw materials from major national suppliers are used in the manufacturing process. Each raw material used in production goes through a certification process in our facility before it can be used in manufacturing. The water used in the manufacturing process of Corefill 500 passes through our state-of-the-art purification equipment. This process removes even the slightest impurities, assuring our customers that they are receiving the highest quality product available. Corefill 500, an aminoplast resin, is manufactured in our large stainless steel vessels. We utilize steam, pressure, and agitation combined with multiple layers of quality control procedures and production testing throughout the manufacturing process, steps which are necessary to ensure a consistent and reliable final product. Upon a final certification by our quality control team, the product is loaded on our company-owned fleet of tankers and transported directly to our certified insulation contractors located throughout the United States. Once offloaded, the product is then transferred into a specially designed installation vehicle that is exclusively built for the application of Core Fill 500. Through Tailored Chemicals National Dealer Network, a dealer must go through an extensive education and field training period in order to be certified and licensed to install Corefill 500. Corefill 500 cannot be purchased off the shelf at your local building supply store. Once the dry mix manufacturers have produced their version of liquid resin, they spray out the resin onto a surface and send it through an oven dryer. During this process, water and other key liquid ingredients are evaporated. The residual film is then pulverized into small pieces and bagged. Once the unfiltered water is added to the mix, important ingredients, most notably the structural plasticizers, never fully regain their plasticity. Shrinking of the final product is inevitable, which allows hot, moist air to circulate throughout the cores of the concrete block. This shrinkage is an inherent problem for all dry mix resins. It is for this important reason that Tailored Chemical Products ships resin in only liquid form to ensure a consistent and factory produced final product. The masonry foam insulation in your building represents less than 1% of the cost of the structure. The HVAC system represents 15 to 20% of the cost of the structure. If your insulation system fails, your building's performance will suffer, which can lead to costly repairs and tarnished reputations. When making your decision as to what brand of foam insulation you are going to use, you have the choice between America's leading masonry foam manufacturer or imported dry mix products without an implied or explicit warranty. One product is monitored by UL for quality assurance. The other products, who knows? As we have demonstrated, masonry foam insulations are not generic. The manufacturing methods, installation restrictions, and warranties differ significantly. We hope you see the many benefits that Corefill 500 offers, starting with peace of mind. Please feel free to contact us at 1-800-627-1687 or visit us online at www dot core dash fill five hundred dot com.